Hello, welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your co-host, Mike. With me is... Conker Corey. And a lot of people say that Sega do what Nintendo don't. But I say Nintendo do what Nintendo want to do. Nintendo want to play Sega Genesis games? Now you can. Or can it? Let's find out. Well, we're here today to review a interesting piece of product called the RetroGen adapter for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Um, it is by the same company, the RetroBit, that we used, uh, that we just reviewed the controller, the, the wireless controller for the N64. We were in a store uh, locally, randomly one day, and we saw it on the shelf. We were like, no way that that works. No way that that works. So we just had to buy it and had to try it out, you know, for you, for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still skeptical, but it is from RetroBit, and we did like their wireless controllers. They did a very good job on that controller. I was very impressed. But I don't know how they shoved all that blast processing in a cartridge like this. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started here with the unboxing. Um, really kind of a simple unboxing here. Let's see. So first thing we got here is uh, we got some cords. I guess these plug into the back of the I don't know what they plug into. Um take a look here. Um so yeah, I mean nothing nothing to write home about here. It uh it's, it looks like a Sega Genesis cartridge, and it, um, yeah, it, ha it has the Genesis cartridge slot here at the top, and it has the Super Nintendo one at the bottom. It mentioned switches, but I don't see any switches. On the side. Other side. I knew that. <laughs> There's the AV, though. So, does the AV not go through the console? I don't know. This is an interesting device. This is very interesting. Um, but yeah, besides that unboxing, it's very minimal, minimalistic. Minimalistic. -y. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to this. Minimalistic. I can't use it. Okay, so this is different regions. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah. But I wonder, does it overwrite the regions on your Super Nintendo? It might. So does it have to go out this way, or does it actually work on the system itself? That's a very good question. A lot of tests have found to see. But actually, not a lot to this. Very simple unboxing, very simple concept. I just don't know how they pulled it off, so... I guess now is a good time to let's go ahead and get tested, testing, testing. Get let's go ahead and get tested for being fed a bogus product. Let's see if it freaking works. Let's do this.
I don't know what to say. I, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you. When we bought this thing, I didn't think it'd work. I think it. I thought it would be a gimmick, um, but it works. It, this goes against everything I was taught as a kid. And it works quite well, as our uh, BBG mascot here can attest. It, this, this isn't right. No, it's not. It, it, it's an it, abomination. This is like this is like an affront to the natural order. But it, it, it it's 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 cool. I mean, let's just be honest. It's freaking cool. I don't know how they did it. Maybe maybe they managed. Maybe the technology we have now. This is like a nine year old product, actually. I think. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually not a new thing. I think it was copyrighted in two thousand eleven. So I don't know how this flew under our radar, which we you know we've only been around for a couple of years, but still though, if as collectors. What I think this makes really great is people who can't get a hold of a Sega Genesis for a decent price. I don't know what they fetch nowadays. Yeah, they can be kind of expensive. I think like seventy or eighty dollars, depending. Say they got a Sega Genesis game they want to play, but they don't got a Sega Genesis and they only got a Super Nintendo. This is great. Now emulation, of course, is emulation. You can emulate pretty much anything. Right. But some people like the original hardware because of latency. Some people like the speed run things. Yeah. And, and you, original hardware and CRT is king when it comes to speed running. There is. And there's something about just. I think I've said this before in another video, something about playing on the original hardware, the nostalgia factor um, just does so well. And this just, I can't believe this works as good as it does. And the it audio just, is good. Yeah, I mean, for the, the time, right, for when this came out, that's as good as audio as we had it back then. It, it really amazed me. I, I just, now we had some issues originally hooking it up. That's something we need to touch base on. I didn't have a manual in here. I don't know if something got lost in mine or what. But there is four different regions on the Switch that Corey showed at the beginning that you have to have set up. The regions are um, North America, um, PAL Europe, uh, Japan, and PAL Asia. I think that's what they are. The top mm -hmm. one, which is the NC something, um, that's, the, that's the American one you have to have it set to. We originally just plugged it in, turned it on. Um, we got no video. Turns out you do have to use this video cable that comes with it. It plugs into the side here. Plug it in before you put the cartridge in because you can't once you get it in there. You have to plug this in and then we had to run it to an adapter that we had um, when we're playing old games. And that goes into a, an HDMI which goes into our monitor over here. So we got an adapter for our adapter. But it works. It just, it works after that. We, we, play, we played a, a versus match of WrestleMania, you know, Macho Man. And, Undertaker. Uh, oh yeah, but uh, oh god, I feel like a kid again. Right? <laughs> it. it I, I am just genuinely amazed by this. It is so much fun. It's so cool to me. Um, granted, it's it's a novelty thing uh, for a lot of people. But like Corey said, if you can't get a hold of a Sega Genesis, you can get this. Get this. Twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks is what I think we paid for it. Uh, I don't know if that was on sale or not. Um, I'll try to put a Amazon link in the description below if there is one. Um, but it's just. It works. I can't. I can't quit saying that. I have to say, with Retrobit, this is the second thing we've done from Retrobit, and I have been super, super impressed with them. Yeah. So we may have to may have to look at some other products that they have as well. Because I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I went into this not expecting it to work. I was no. like, this is gonna be this is gonna be garbage. This is a gimmick. There's no way this will work because these these two companies were the biggest rivals at the time of the 16-bit era. It was Sega and Nintendo, and they were neck to neck, throat to throat. Whatever, whatever analogy you want to use. I mean, they were like <laughs> blast processing. Sega does what Nintendo don't. And it, I, my mind's just blown. It really is. Uh, just the fact um, that this does this. And I'm really curious how the technology works. How it converts. Everything. I am too. I'd really like to know more behind it. I'll have to see if we can do some research on it and see if we can figure something out. Maybe a follow-up video or something. But if you're interested in something like that, let us know in the comments below. We'll we'll take a look at it. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Like, really, it, literally, it's just it works and it's really cool. We try it with a bunch of different games. Um, all the games in front of us here, and every time, no problem. The controls are a little weird sometimes uh, because of how they're laid out, but. It worked. <laughs> Mako likes it. But what do you think? Do you own one of these? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your experience is. Do you, would you like to buy one of these? Um, I think $20 is a good price for this. Yeah. Especially if it works. I, I mean, I haven't run across any games that don't work. I'm really curious if the ones that... Uh, there's some Sega games that take 
advantage of special hardware. I'm curious. Yeah. If, uh, but uh, obviously, probably won't get a 32x game to run on it. But. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think, and uh, if you, if there's any other retro uh, bit products that you would like us to review and tell you how you feel, we'll waste our money so you don't have to waste yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like it? Check out our channel where we do other reviews, including the Retro Bit Tribute 64 down in the link below. As always, I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey. And I'm Mike. And we'll see, see ya. ya.